slowing down. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine here on Happy Cool and welcome to a new review for Benchy. This week's episode was called Evil for Evil. Let's talk about it. First, some quick thoughts. I wish we had seen a little more of the heist that Carrie and Job did instead of just the ending. I mean, that was fun, but I wish we had seen a little more. I enjoyed the visual of Rebecca sitting on Proctor's chair because it kind of seems like he's building her up to take his place a little bit. So it just kind of felt like, hmm, this is where she will probably end up. Maybe even sooner than we expected now that Proctor's in jail. Also Gordon, yeah! It seems like he's stepping up his game a little bit, finally. And how sweet was it when he asked Carrie to stay for dinner? Oh, I got a little tear, I will admit. Yeah. We found Rabbit, finally, because I was wondering where he was last week. But I'm guessing next week we'll see a lot more of him. So yeah, that'll be fun. And now let's dig into the meat of the episode. First, talking about Emmett. What an emotional episode that was for him because, wow, did not, did not see that coming. I mean, I never see anything coming with Benchy, but I, yeah. Those guys went after his defenseless pregnant wife. Yep, I think there are no words for this. And the whole time I'm thinking, please go kill them, please go kill them, please go kill them. He did not kill them but he sure did not leave them intact, to say the least. Also, I'm wondering, do you think Hood told him that the police station would be pretty much empty so he could go and get his revenge or not? Because I think he did, because it's Hood. A very powerful episode for Emmett. It was really nice to see more of him. Unfortunately, I wish it was in different conditions, not this. And finally, do you think he's quitting? Because he put his badge name tag on the desk and I was like oh does that mean he's quitting yeah I don't know it's not voting well such a tough part of the episode to go through powerful but hard to watch and now moving on to the hood proctor war follow-up or part two well hood wanted proctor and he got him the hood way I loved how hood told proctor I'm a cop and you're a criminal oh the irony if Proctor only knew how ironic this whole thing is. Also, I thought it was pretty interesting that Rebecca did not give away HUD. And that's where the complicated relationship comes in. She has a complicated relationship with HUD and she definitely has a complicated relationship with Proctor. And even more, she gave away Juliet. And that poor girl is probably dead now. Did anybody else freak out when Hood said, Kai Proctor, you are under arrest? I was like, oh, what? Because I thought this was going to last a lot longer, but it's just like, boom, I, he got him. Oh, all the town needed was Hood, was a criminal, as a sheriff. I don't think even Proctor saw that coming. I mean, he was pretty shocked and pissed off and he never loses his cool. So you know, Hood got him good. And I love how Brock thinks that Hood is doing things by the book. Oh, Brock, you're usually so perceptive of things, but he's definitely not doing it by the book. And to further the Hood-Proctor war, Hood is now making a deal with Alex too, possibly to bring Proctor down. I mean, this is just going topsy-turvy. I don't know why I said topsy-turvy. That's a weird way to describe Benji. What an episode. I mean, on the one hand, really powerful and sad storyline. On the other hand, you have this like exciting war of like, wits and criminals like going on and there are only two episodes left after this episode how much crazier can things get where are we gonna end by the end of this season i mean i don't know i'm, I'm just thinking maybe proctor will like end up in jail trying to get out and then you have rabbit so i don't know how they're gonna wrap that up i just <sighs> So exciting. But those were all my thoughts. And as always, I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to Happy Cool if you haven't yet so you don't miss any of my Benchy reviews or other videos and reviews we put up on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Also, I thought it was pretty ironic 